Hey guys, so obviously I'm filming another video in my closet right now. I just filmed my haul, which is the last video that you guys saw, and I'm filming two videos tonight. If you're confused why I'm in my closet, it's just because it's it's four in the morning right now, and I don't want to wake up my whole family, so I'm trying to, I'm not really being quiet, but like, this is a little bit quieter, quieter me being in here versus me being in my room, so that's, that's just what's happening. So for this video, I wanted to do something that I did actually like a year ago, right before I moved to LA for the first time for school. And I'm going to do another one this year. It is a what's in my carry on bag. And I guess I could do this whenever I'm flying, but for some reason I just haven't done one for a year. And a lot of you guys I remember really liked that video from last year. So I am doing it again. This is pretty much the same stuff that I keep. I fly a ton and this is pretty much just stuff that I keep in my bag. I hope you guys enjoy this video and find it somewhat interesting. So my bag, I really, really like my favorite bag to take with me usually when I am traveling is a backpack just because I don't really like to carry a bag on my arm when I'm walking through the airport. Sometimes you gotta walk a long time and it's just annoying and backpack for me is like the easiest thing. I don't even feel like it's on me because it's on my back. I actually recently just got this backpack and I am in love with it. It's from Free People. I got it online and obviously as you can tell it's just super super colorful, really pretty, kind of like tribal. I'm just, I'm in love with it. This bag has two little sections, it just has a smaller compartment here and a bigger compartment here so I'll start with what is in the smaller one. Now I don't have my phone in here but obviously I would have my phone. Also, I don't have a bottle of water in here because I didn't really put one in for the sake of this video, but I always have a bottle of water with me because I don't know about you guys, but planes make me, first of all, just so dry because the air is just like really dry on planes and second of all so like dehydrated I'm always dying of thirst when I'm on planes so I would always get a bottle of water after security which is really annoying having to buy one but I do it every single time so things that I keep in the front pocket of my bag I always have my wallet this is my keys without my actual car keys on them right now. And then this is my wallet. I just have my cards and uh, my ID because you definitely need your ID at the airport. So I just always have that super handy. So that's in the front pocket. And I have a hand sanitizer. This one is so close to being gone. I've had this one for so long. It's on, I swear I have like one use left of this thing. Planes are not the cleanest. Airports are not the cleanest. And I just always have hand sanitizer with me like in my purse or something. So I have that. I have a little snack. This is a Luna protein bar. I usually just bring like a bar or I don't always bring a snack but I if I don't bring a snack I'll usually buy a snack because I don't know about you guys but like those that little pretzel pack on the plane or the Biscoff cookies doesn't really fill me up if I'm on like a four or five hour flight. So I usually get something to eat at the airport or bring a little snack with me. Next I have my vlogging camera because I bring this pretty much everywhere I go with me now. I've been vlogging every other day this month on my second channel if you guys didn't know. So yeah, I kind of always have this with me and it's just kind of like I like to have my camera in my carry-on bag in case my other bag gets lost. Uh, you'll see I also have like my laptop and things like that in here because I would not want to lose my laptop in a checked bag if that ever got lost. Next I have my headphones. They're in this cool little case. I don't know the brand of these headphones, but they're really cool looking. They look like this and they kind of like unfold and you can put them on. They're like rose gold and they have this cool little like pyramid thingy. I really do not th know the brand. It doesn't say anywhere on here, so if you know, you can comment down below. But I really love these headphones. They're super squishy and I think they look cool and I really like them. I also have my laptop charger in the front pocket and I always am on my laptop like waiting at the gate or I was actually on a plane the other day where they had actual plugs and I, I plugged in my laptop and was charging like my phone through my laptop. It was so great. It was awesome. It was I think United. I don't think I've ever been on a plane where they had like actual plugs. They've had like USB things but I was like this is great. This is I love this. And lastly, in the front pocket, this is like a new addition to my carry-on bag. I did not always keep this, but I have a sleeping mask, and they give you these on international flights and flights that are over a certain number of hours. I don't know. This one's just from Delta. I got it when I went to Europe, and I kept it just because, okay, you guys, I can't even tell you if you have trouble sleeping on planes. This is so helpful. Since it's black, it completely blocks out any of the light. It blocks off anything going on around you, and it's just like dark, and I feel like it's so much 
more easy to sleep on planes with this thing on so I know I might look a little bit ridiculous but when I'm really trying to sleep on planes this is a very nice thing to have okay then I'll go into the bigger section of my bag this might seem like a lot of stuff to you guys but I don't know I kind of use mostly all of this stuff on flights and it's just kind of stuff that I like to have just in case like you never know if you're gonna be sitting on the runway for like two hours before your plane takes off and be really bored your phone might die so I like to have options you know I have my sunglasses case and my sunglasses these are my expensive nicest pair of sunglasses so as I was telling you guys I kind of like to keep things like that in my carry-on bag in case my checked bag gets lost I mean I obviously have stuff that I would never want to lose in my checked bag but it's like the most expensive things I'm gonna keep in um, my carry-on bag just to be safe I also have a neck pillow I can't even tell you guys I use this thing every single time I fly and I sometimes use it like this and we'll just kind of like chill up against the seat behind me obviously but I really like to put it on the tray table and just kind of pass out face first that is my preferred way of sleeping on planes unless the person in front of me tilts their seat back then I get really upset because it like hits me in the head when I'm trying to sleep you can get these at like the airport if you want to get one of these I usually bring a book but I rarely end up reading my book that I bring but again it's nice to have options so this is a book that I've actually had this for like a month and I haven't even started it I really want to start reading this though I just keep forgetting so hopefully on my plane to LA it's a pretty long flight I will remember to start this book. Let me know if any of you guys have read it. I've heard it's super, super good. It's a book about the founder of Nasty Gal and kind of, I think, how she just, like, got successful and everything like that. It's just, like, kind of her story. So I like reading books like this. All right, next I have my laptop and also I have my cord because this is currently the only way that I am charging my phone. I have lost all of my iPhone plugs, so I've been charging my phone through my computer, which is fine. So I just have that and I have my laptop. It just looks like this. I have some stickers on it. They're all they're all three from Brandy Melville and um, my laptop is really, really tiny. It's an Air, so it's so great for travel and it's the smallest size. I love it so much. It's really, really small, but I like how small it is, especially for travel. And the last thing I have is a magazine and I haven't actually read this magazine I have had this seriously in my once again like my books I've had this in my carry-on bag for so long I've just been like maybe I'll read it on my next flight and then I never read it I don't even know which month this is from but self magazine with Julianne Huff I got it so that was everything that's in my carry-on bag I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it kind of interesting give it a thumbs up if you did thank you guys so much for watching and if you want to keep up with me on my journey moving again starting school again going back to LA all that stuff if you're like confused Lindsay what are you talking about check out my vlog channel living like Lindsay cuz I'm like taking you guys through my whole process again and I just love showing you guys my life like I've been obsessed with vlogging lately so if you guys want to see that, definitely check out my vlog channel. I will link it in the description box, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video on this channel or in my next vlog, whichever one you watch first. Bye, guys.